Hi folks, it's Mike here from Blastedness UK. Today I'm going to be running through how to fit our 7 kilo spring to our fire strike. Fire strike. Uh, this is a simple spring swap uh, modification. There's no need to delete the AR in modern blasters. For this modification, you're going to need one of our springs, uh, available from our website. Uh, obviously a fire strike of this horrendous XD uh, Elite colouring, or the nicer blue that you can still get around. A little bit of white lithium grease, because who doesn't like a little bit of grease, uh, positive, well, crosshead Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. I should warn you before you start, this modification isn't for the uh, faint of heart, getting the spring out of the blaster is the key, key challenge here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, very simple. Okay, this one's been signed on the inside. I've never seen that before from a Hasbro blaster. So now we've got it open. Uh, we can ignore most of the gubbins. Uh, this is obviously your plunger tube here, and your plunger assembly. Uh, keep the catch spring. Now it's worth noting that this batch suffered some significant quality problems. You'll notice the lack of shine on the stock springs. It looks like the passivation has been removed uh, somehow. Through the process, through the storage process. I opened up another one of these earlier and the spring was in even worse condition. Uh, this one isn't too bad. There are areas where the finish has come away. Um, that's a little bit concerning from a quality control point of view, Hasbro. Uh, you might want to look to that. So the first challenge uh, with this, and really the only challenge with this modification, is getting this spring away in a manner that is um, sort of you know, suitable. And essentially you have to open the end of the spring around the blaster and around the rod and uh, twist it away. Um, so for this I tend to use a pair of pliers and this usually takes quite a little while. and then start twisting the spring away and unscrewing it like so. And it will readily come away, like so. Okay, and you can toss that because uh, <laughs> it's going to rust in that state. Okay, and then snap it on and then wind it on like so. Gradually. And there you are. So that is now in situ. Um, it's worth just putting a little bit of grease around the moving parts. As usual, the usual rules about thin films apply. Grease is working best in thin films. You don't need to tape your O-ring. Remember that uh, this is a floating O-ring design, so you will harm performance by taping your O-ring. And to finish up, you want to orientate your spring mount to the top and lift the plunger tube assembly and pop in like so. and then seat your spring as against that bulkhead there. And then take your catch plate spring, set it around the rest, and hold it in place. Clamp test everything around. There you are. So that's how to install our spring. The link to the uh, the link to the listing is in the is in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions, drop me an email. Again, link in the description below. Thanks.